You know, there's a key thing in games that happen from time to time, and when they happen, almost all the time, it doesn't go well for the defense, and that is totally unacceptable because it's easy to avoid. And that's what I want to talk to you about in this video, Rundowns. See you in a second. And if you don't know who I am, my name's Andy Powers, and for many years I was a coach at various levels until I left that to go into the private side, where now I own a portfolio of different baseball training companies, which uh, include online training as well as brick and mortar. I have nothing to sell you. I'm simply making these videos to help share with you the things that work for me, so that in hopes it can help work for you to either improve your players, improve your team, or improve your business. But enough about me, let's jump back into the video. So, you know, an important part of the game that comes up every once in a while and a lot of times when I see it happen, it never is executed well, and it's so easy to execute, is the rundown. Because we never really allocate time and practice to do those rundowns. And if we do, maybe it's once in a blue moon and we'll work on it. But then when it happens in the game and our kids aren't prepared for it, then they suck. And now all of a sudden, you know, we get angry as coaches. So in this video, I want to talk to you about an easy way you can implement rundown training daily and then they prepare but so that they're better prepared in the game. So this is kind of how it works, okay? When the team shows up for practice that particular day, or even on game day, quite honestly, you can do this every single day. After they've done their initial warm-ups to just get their body going and, and loosened up and their blood flowing, before we started throwing a baseball, what we did is we did our rundowns. And it take, it's really quick, but we would spread, uh, break the team up into at least two groups. One group would be on the foul line in the outfield. The other group would be equal with second base, regardless of what level you're playing at, okay? The guy on the foul line starts with the ball, and he's just going to start running towards the guy at second base at about a 50% jog with the ball up. Now, the reason that there's a lot of philosophies on how you want to do a rundown, this is what worked for me, okay? But we'd have the ball up, and that way that the guy that we were running towards could see the ball, that we didn't want to hide it. And there was no deking, by the way. I didn't believe in that. I didn't want to try to just trick the runner and then also trick my defender as well, okay? If we execute this right, it doesn't matter. So the ball is up. We're just jogging at 50%. When the guy that's at second base is ready to receive the ball, all he did was take a step or two and then flash his hands. And when he would flash him, he kept moving forward. He didn't start and then stop. He would start and keep moving, flashing his hands. And the guy with the ball, when he saw the hands flash, that was his signal to give up a little dart throw right to the guy. And then the guy who just threw the ball would peel off towards the pitcher's mound. And then now the guy who was at second base has now caught the ball in stride, and he's now running back towards the foul line. And he's waiting for the guy to flash his hands. And when he sees that, he's given up the ball. And then that guy is pull, uh, peeling off towards the pitcher's mound. We always peeled off towards the pitcher's mound. Didn't matter which direction you were running. We would go all the way through the line so that everybody got a repetition. And when we got right back to the guy who started it all, he's starting on the line. The guy's running towards him with the ball. He would just call for the ball. He throws it, and he puts down a tag. Okay, great. Then we would do it all over again at 75% effort. And then we would do it all over again at 100%, a full sprint. We wanted to force runners to make a decision. And you can only do that if you're pressuring him by doing a full sprint. But the fundamentals never changed. You flash the hands, keep your feet moving, catch it in stride. If you do this right, it's going to take one, maybe two throws to get it done. This whole thing, especially once your team gets the, the vibe, the routine of it, the whole thing from 50% to 100% probably is going to take no more than five minutes to get it all the way done, especially depending on how many guys you have. If you've got a, you know, several teams potentially doing this all at once, then just break them up into multiple lines down the foul line and down equal with second base. Otherwise, if you've got you know, 12 guys, you've got six and six. It's going to happen fast. But you could do that every single day in practice. That's before we've even started throwing the baseball to get our arms ready to go for the day. And that's going to make a huge difference in the games because I promise you, when that time comes and you get in that rundown, those guys are going to be prepared. Boom, boom, boom. It's over. And you're going to be happy about it. They're going to be happy about it. The other team's going to sit there and wonder what just happened. And it's all because you're doing this on a daily basis. So try that in your practice. I'd love to hear how it goes. Subscribe to this channel and you're going to get more tips like this as well. See you down the road.